mushrooms and also some sweet, actually no, some salt and vinegar potatoes that were roasting up. All right. For the no vacancy boys. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to hand this off to Kip real quick. We had some mic issues. It wouldn't be an episode of No Vacancy without some mic issues. Kip's um, mic is always fucked up. Yeah, Let me that's just say that. Fault. Again, if you're a regular listener, you know this. Yeah. You can't hear Kip half the time. We screw up a lot of things <laughs> here, and that's usually my fault. So we'll take that. Um, this is our last question, and as a regular listener, you probably already know it's coming. But we – did we do the di- – it's dinosaur season. First off, what's your stance on Pangea? And do you think that there was a giant meteor that separated all the continents from each other? I actually can't you see what I'm tell you what I what I believe in here because everything that I've been told has been t- like told to me from someone else. So you know, it could be whatever the fuck happened, but you know, I'm gonna go with maybe. Safe. Yeah, Middle it's man a safe Dan play. right there. Middleman Dan. You see, Dude, I threw a wrench in it. Everybody's just waiting on a dinosaur question. Yeah. I'm asking a fucking Pangea. Y'all, You're asking me if I'm a playing a meteorite. five million years behind y'all, maybe fifty. Your guess know. is as good as the guy who made up the theory of what exactly happened. So that's that's like where I have an relative. issue with it. What's is up? yeah. So. All right. Second question: Do you believe in dinosaurs, and do you believe that they are birds? Yeah, definitely, dude. I mean, they were they were here. There's fossils of them. I mean, I love dinosaurs. I'm I'm, I'm all. Some would say those fossils were put here. <laughs> what was that, Chris? Some would say those fossils were put here by an omnipotent being. <laughs> we have heard that. That case could also be the Joel situation. Austin's people. Um, all right. So if you are in fact a dinosaur buff, as you say you are, Zach, if you were a dinosaur, what kind would you have been? Are you talking about if like my personality aligned with a dinosaur specifically, or like if I could be any dinosaur I wanted to be? I think. Maybe. it's I think it's kind of a little bit of both. Like, what would you be? Like, Chris is like a fucking stegosaurus with glasses and reeds. So it's pretty fitting. But, like, some people maybe are a T-Rex or a Velociraptor. Hey, that's, a, that's like, an honorable life to be, you know. He doesn't want to be fucked with. Interesting <laughs> and knowledgeable stegosaurus. Yeah. Yeah, but he's not a, a book nerd that just sits around all day. So That kind of would be boring. I mean, I guess if I had to go with a with a dinosaur, I would definitely go Velociraptor, because those dudes are hunting in packs. They are way more intelligent than the other dinosaurs, apparently, according to Jurassic Park. The brain is the size of a walnut. Yeah, we'll see. A walnut. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum survived. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum made it. Jeff Goldblum also survived the alien attack of '96. So let's not. He's got a good record. All right. Well. Um, I guess we're signing off. Uh, oh, quick, quick, quick note. Uh, guys, follow Stoned Appetite on Instagram, especially coming up here. Um, some of us, I'll be traveling to New York, so we'll be posting some some nice food shots and stuff like that. So be sure to check out our other account, Stoned Appetite, for all your dank food pics. And don't forget to go follow Dank Eats blog. All one word. That's Zach. He does a lot of his own home cooking on his story. He also talks about restaurants he hits, places he visits. As you've heard tonight, he's very knowledgeable. Zach, we want to thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you having me. Yeah. It's um, been a great time. Yeah. I mean, it's going to continue to be a great time. We're going to send Chris to the liquor store, and we're going to eat this dank-ass meal. Mm Mm-hmm. Obviously, you saw all the pictures up. We'll post some more on the Instagram story from supper. We want to thank our friends over at Live Nation. We want to thank our friends at Live Well. We want to thank our friends at Cole Terrace um, for helping us throw a great episode this week. And until next week, we'll say stay hungry, stay thirsty. Cheers. Cheers.